The latest smear of Christian conservatives these days is the accusation of one being supposedly a Christian nationalist. What is a Christian nationalist? One commentator from Politico even told a panel on MSNBC how to define a Christian nationalist. She said, quote, the thing that unites them as Christian nationalists, not Christians because Christian nationalists are very different, is that they believe that our rights as Americans and as all human beings do not come from any earthly authority. They don't come from Congress, from the Supreme Court. They come from God, end quote. And what's wrong with that? The idea that our rights come from God. Is that not exactly what the founding fathers and the settlers of America said over and over, as well as many American leaders through the years? The essence of the American experiment is self-rule under God. One famous American said, God who gave us life gave us liberty. Can the liberties of a nation be secure when we have removed a conviction that these liberties are the gift of God? Who was this sneaky American trying to impose Christian nationalism on an unsuspecting populace? It was Thomas Jefferson. In fact, those words are chiseled in stone at the memorial in Washington, D.C., dedicated to his memory. Indeed, many of the founders of this nation said the same thing. Our rights come from God, not the state. And that's why we've prospered so much. The only way the elite class can get away with trying to impose state-sanctioned atheism on a land that was secured on the foundation of God-given rights is when we, the people, forget that God is indeed the source of our rights, not the government, or when we become so fearful of a made-up label like Christian nationalism that we go mute in the face of a little name-calling. For Coral Ridge Ministries, I'm Dr. Jerry Newcomb.